And what makes it even more tragic, Dave, is that this 12-year-old boy is half of a set of twins. His brother was there to witness all of this. And it happened at the same time that Detroit's interim police chief was calling for change. Three children were inside the home, two 12-year-old twins and a 13-year-old. One of those 12-year-olds lost his life inside this home near Kelly and Hayes on Detroit's east side Tuesday afternoon. It's believed one of the three found a gun inside the relative's home. It discharged and killed the boy. Gerald Ussery was working on his car nearby when he heard gunshots. I thought it might have been fireworks or something like that. But after that, I seen all the police cars and I knew something bad had happened. Oh, my heart sunk. My heart sunk. These are children. My heart sunk. You know, um, I really don't know the answer, you know, to, 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 to what we have to do, but my heart just dropped. Man, a 12-year-old? Detroit police hope Detroiters will help prevent future tragedies like this. We have these gun locks. We give these out at our precincts, hundreds of them, and people have to secure their weapon. We're still, you know, investigating to figure out what exactly happened, but the facts remain the same, that young children got a hold of a weapon. And this is the result. Now the parents or the gun owner could face charges as a result of this. Detroit police's homicide and child abuse units are investigating. Dave. Ryan, I know we'll continue to follow this. Just a sad, sad story. Thank you for the live report.